morning. <laughs> Is it strange to get a call from me in the morning? <laughs> well, I want to hear your voice. Is it strange? I want to hear your voice first thing when I wake up. <laughs> Fine, it might be a bit strange. Because I know we haven't known each other for that long. And we've only been seeing each other for a short while. And we haven't defined anything yet between us. We don't know what we are. Fine, fine. Well, I don't know. I just, I just woke up and I wanted to call you. What's wrong with that? <laughs> I hope it's not scary, though. You know what I mean? I hope it's not too much. But yeah, sometimes I just think of you randomly. And I think that <laughs> I think that when you think of a person when you first wake up, that might might say something, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, I shouldn't have called you. I shouldn't have called you because you know when, like in this state, when you've literally just, literally just woken up. Like your brain isn't fully active yet. Do you know what I mean? Your brain isn't fully working yet. <laughs> yeah, so maybe that's why I'm like chatting shit. <laughs> maybe that's why I'm just talking nonsense. <laughs> uh, I just kind of woke up though. I woke up and I just kind of thought, hmm. Oh. I want to talk to you. But I suppose I woke up and I thought more that I wish I was with you. <laughs> yeah, no, we haven't spent a night together yet. Yeah, we haven't. I wonder what it would be like. Though. I wonder what it would be like to wake up next to you. Spend the night together, just chatting, maybe doing a little bit of cuddling, a little bit of kissing, maybe some other stuff, I don't know. I wonder what would that be like? <laughs> mm, makes me so curious, so, so, so curious. Maybe that's why I'm calling you. Maybe I'm like, maybe I'm hoping that you would have only just woken up as well. And then I can have a kind of, like an idea of what it would be like to chat to you when we're still in bed. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, you know, that would be nice. Oh yeah, you know it would be nice. <laughs> Don't try and play games with me. Don't try and be all coy and shy about it. You may know like it. Mm. <laughs> Listen, I'm putting myself out here at the moment. Me calling you first thing in the morning is putting myself out there. You know what I mean? It's me saying to you that I thought of you first thing in the morning when I called you. I mean, that is saying something, right? I mean, you know when you think of someone first thing when you wake up, it's significant or it can be significant mm. yeah I feel like I feel like I'll just have a better day if my first interaction or my first experience of someone or anything with you well, you can't blame me can you how can you blame me you really can't this is a compliment to you <laughs> you know that <sighs> I know I'll have a better day just by speaking to you first thing. <laughs> okay, fine, fine, fine. Okay, I'll level with you then. I'll level with you. There is a reason I'm calling you. There's a reason I thought of you first thing in the morning. <laughs> there is. Oh, I had a dream about you. <laughs> 
Yeah, I did. I had a dream about you. <laughs> That's why I went to call you. Literally, when I woke up, I'm like, oh, I want to call you. It happens though, right? You know when you have a dream about someone, you just want to you just want to speak to them or see them, interact with them. It might be your brain's way of telling you, you missed this person. You need to... You need to have them in your life for a bit. You need to see them. You need to speak to them. Maybe it's like that. But yeah, fine. I had a dream about you. I shouldn't admit it. I really shouldn't admit it. But I did. I did. And it was... It was It was interesting. You know, dreams are always a bit weird, right? <laughs> dreams are always a bit strange. I dreamt that we were out. And we were having dinner somewhere, we were eating somewhere. And it was all kind of like relaxed and everything. But you know, in dreams, as I said, everything is a bit strange. It's not quite, it's, it's not quite normal. But when you're in the dream, it, it feels like reality. Because you don't know you're dreaming, right? You don't know you're asleep. So at that time, the dream is your perception of reality. So you think it's real. So yeah, we were in um we were in a restaurant having dinner and it was quite nice and the food was and the food was really good. Um and then suddenly we're like in my house. You know, just random just just suddenly. There's no part of the dream which was us getting to my house, so suddenly we're in my house. And we're still eating, but this time we're both in our underwear eating. <laughs> And it's quite nice. It's quite nice. It was it was weird. It wasn't really it wasn't a sexual thing, it was just like a comfort thing. And it was just really nice us both us both being in our underwear and just Yeah, just having some food. And then instead of being at a table we were on the sofa in front of the T V and then we were close and we were cuddled up and I think it's because you and I we haven't cuddled yet, right? So this is really nice for me. We were close, we were cuddled up, and because we were in our underwear, I could feel your skin. My, our skin was touching, and I really, really love that. You know, when we've seen each other, when we've gone out, or, you know, what, or whatever we do, there are some moments when we're talking, and I'll naturally touch you, or you'll naturally touch me, and sometimes maybe when we're sitting next to each other, or when we're walking, our skin will touch, we'll have skin contact, just inadvertently, and I love that, because I can feel the warmth of your skin against mine, and it kind of, it does something, at the, the split second I feel that contact, it sends some sort of, some sort of signal to my brain, and then all throughout my body, and it just feels so comfortable, and just so lovely, it's like, a warm type of electricity. It's amazing. That's what I dreamt about. Uh, we were on the sofa next to each other after somehow having been out to eat and we were under a blanket and we were still just, just munching. <laughs> and because we were in our underwear, just our skin, we had a lot of skin contact. We were just pressed up against each other. Mm, it's really nice. And then um, somehow, again, in dreams, you never know how you get from place to place. And then somehow we were in bed. Again, just cuddling. It's really nice. Mm, there might have been more of the dream, but... Yeah, I can't tell you more about it. <laughs> it's too much to tell you more. Mm. But yeah, that's why I called you. That's why I felt the need to call you. <laughs> Mm. It just makes me wonder as well. I wonder if it will become a reality. Mm. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Speaking of which, how about we go out to eat tonight? Mm. How about it? Tell me you're free and I'll take you out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Do you want to recreate my dream? <laughs> That would be interesting, right? If we somehow went out to eat and then magically found ourselves back at my place, sitting in our underwear in a blanket. 
Nej, det er sådan at se. Så lad mig se. Tell me you're free. Tell me you're free, and I'll come see you later. I'll pick you up and we'll go somewhere. Det er sådan at se. Can't blame me for wanting to see you. I mean, even my subconscious wants to see you. My subconscious <laughs> made my dreams all about you. All about you. This is how deeply you affect me. Mm. So tell me you're free later, okay? I'll not come and see you. I can't wait. I hope you have a good day. I hope you have the best day. Because I know I'll have a good day. I'll have a good day anticipating seeing you. And then I'll have the best day when I see you. Mm. Okay, I'll see you later. Mm. Ah.